In this video, I'm going to show you how to in Resolve 15 using one source video clip, say that you took uh, footage from your cell phone camera or any camera you have, and say that original footage, say 1920 by 1080 I'll show you how you can edit that footage, do everything in the edit window here and get it all set up, and then you could output it into different uh, resolutions and aspect ratios, so you could output it in the original 1920 by 1080 and then maybe you could uh, change the aspect ratio and resolution uh, for say Instagram video so that it's vertical and then it would be instead of 1920 by 1080 it'll be 1080 by 1920 or some some Instagram videos or Facebook ads you might want it square so it'll be 1080 by 1080 so I'll show you how you can again use uh, one edited piece of footage that you have all set up and I'll put in multiple different resolutions and aspect ratios so the first thing you want to make sure is that uh, you have everything set up for your source video so my source video is 1920 by 1080 and 30 frames per second. So I have that set up right here. So I have a 1920, 30. Now you want to make sure that if you want to change this to begin with, you want to have it set to something else. Make sure you have nothing in your media pool and nothing on your timeline. And then you're able to change your frame rate here. Uh, if you put anything in your media pool or your timeline, then that part will be grayed out and you won't be able to change it. You'll be able to change everything else, which I'll be showing later in the video that will be set but uh, resolve 15 will ask you if you add anything to your media pool uh, if it's different from this setting so if you did have it set incorrectly to say like 25 frames or 24 frames per second and your source video was 30 frames per second it would ask you if you want to change it and you'd say yes and then it would change to this but this is just it's a good idea to have it set up correctly to begin with so right now we're set for 10 1920 by 1080 and 30 frames per second so that's good so we'll get some video here so I have some footage here, so I'll just drag that to the timeline. Now if you want the video or video footage to fit perfectly in the timeline, you hold down the Shift and the Z key, and that'll make it fit. And if you're, if you're really zoomed in, if you want to get it back to where it just barely fits in the timeline, you hold down Shift and Z, and that'll put it. So now I can play through here, and you can see the footage. So I'm not really going to do anything right now, but any edits you want to do, you could have anything you want to do. You could do fusions, so you could just add some titles, and do pretty much anything you want in the edit and the other tabs, and get the video looking the way you want. And then you'll be able to output it into the any resolution and aspect ratio you want. So right now this is good for the 1920 by 1080. So this is all set up. So we're going to come to the Deliver tab. And then here you want to Say if we're going to be having uploading it to YouTube, I'll set it to the YouTube 1080p settings, and that sets all this correctly for that, so you really don't have to mess with any of this, since it's a very uh, common format. So you want to click on Browse, and you want to go to the folder you want to use for the output. So I'll just choose just one of my desktop, and I'll give it a name. So I'll just call this 1920 by 1080. And I'll click Save. So now that's my render settings are all set up. So then I just left click on the Add to Render queue, come over here and click Start Render. And now it's going to output it and render out to that folder in the original uh, resolution and aspect ratio 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080. So let's just take a few more seconds. And it's almost done. So then if I go to the folder where uh, that footage was, and I can see the output folder here, and if I double click on that, it'll play 1920 by 1080. And just open over to the side here, and I can hit, this is VLC, so I can hit F, and that'll make a full screen. But that's the full 1920 by 1080. So I can close that down, so I'll let that output correctly, so those settings were correct. So now if I wanna say, do a uh, vertical video, say for Instagram video, and have it be 1080 by 1920. Come back down to the gear icon. And now you're gonna change this to 1080 by 1920. And everything else will stay the same. You don't have to change anything else and click save. And you can see that it then puts it into vertical. But then you're gonna to want to reframe it so that it fills up this entire 
vertical video space here, all this black you want to fill with your video. And you're going to want to reframe it. Now you're going to lose, of course, lose some of the information because it was originally shot this way. If all you wanted was a vertical video, it would be better to shoot the, vertical, the video vertical to begin with. But here we're taking a regular 1920 by 1080 and allowing it to be used as, again, vertical video. So you want to click on your footage here. You want to make sure your inspector is enabled over here. And then what we're going to do is use the zoom and the position under the transform section here to reframe our video. So I'll zoom in here until the video fills the frame here. So that's pretty good. And then you can move it left and right. And by moving this, just by uh, putting my mouse over it, it turns into this double arrow. And you left click and hold down, and that allows you to change that parameter. So I'm gonna come down to the position and move that around until I get something I want. So I can move it a little more to the left maybe. And you just basically mess with it and play around with it until it's framed the way you want. And you probably wanna scrub through and play through your video make sure you're seeing everything you want in the vertical and then once you're done with that come down to the deliver tab and again you want to browse that folder and give it a name so it's automatically open to the last folder I used so I'm going to just call this 1080 by 1920 click save and you want to come down to the resolution and it already saw that you had changed it under the project settings so it changed it to the resolution to custom and changed it to 1080 by 1920 so you just want to double check that and then make sure everything else should be the same as it was for when you had the uh, YouTube uh, selected so make everything sure everything else is set and then hit add to render queue and click start render and it'll render it out as vertical video so you just let this go through And again, and if when you output it, if it's not correct and it's not quite what you wanted, if you didn't frame it quite right, you just come back to edit from the edit tab, change it with the way you want, and then come right back here, add to render queue and render it out and it'll be just the way you want it. So we'll go back to that folder. Okay, here's the vids folder. So now you can see I have the original 1920 by 1080 and now I have the vertical video, exact same footage, exact same original footage. Now I have two different versions of it, so I'll double click on this. You can see it's playing vertically. I can resize it here. But these black bars are just a video player putting that in. If I resize this, you can see that the bars, the black bars actually go, and it is just a vertical video. And again, you can then redo it and change it to say 1080 by 1080 if you want it to be more of a square video. You can change it to pretty much any resolution or aspect ratio you want. And just follow these steps and that's how you do it. So hopefully you found this video useful and I do thank you for watching.